Nice. I got a simple, simple, simple question for you. Here's the question. Be more, Do you be believe that one day you're I'll not going to live in a world that was given to you? That's right. But you are going to actually live in the world that you dream of. You got to make every single second count. You got to go in the future and see it, baby. And you got to come back in the present. And you got to take that big goal, that big dream, that big reality. That's what I said. You got to take that big reality and we got to take small steps and make it manageable to making your dreams become a reality. Think big. Dream big, but start small. That's right, start small. Remember what I told you, start where you are with what you have, because what you have is plenty. That the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. You don't have to personally be perfect. Are you hearing me? There are those of you right now, you should have cut a CD. You should have wrote a book. You should have got in school and got that degree. You should have started your own business. There's so many things you should have done. You should have done, but you didn't do it because you're scared. You believe that, that you said scared of what? Yeah, I ain't scared. You are scared. You are scared. You're scared of failure. You're scared to make a mistake. You're scared that you're not perfect. And I'm telling you today, you ain't got to be perfect. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't have to be perfect to get what you want, to do what you want, to have what you want, to be what you want. You don't have to be perfect. It's a lie. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. So that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it, that you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not Let's making go. the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Five, five, Question is, what five. are you going to do with your time? What drives you? Greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout.